shut the hell up. <laughs> Hate this damn job. Why? Name me follow the, 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 the purple idiot. It's like a muppet on crack. <laughs> and then that Filipino on a stick. <laughs> He's a jalapeno. He's a jalapeno. Jalapeno, Filipino. Just put it on a stick and get in the hell out of here. <laughs> and then that superhero idiot. What's wrong with Melvin? Ah, he's in the trunk all day going. Dee -dee -dee. <laughs> that D on his chest stands for dumbass. His <laughs> theme song should be D -d -d dumbass. Walter, aren't you happy to be here? Oh, overjoyed. Frickin' New York, couldn't find no place to park. And some jerk pulled up in a brand new Mercedes, goes right in the handicap spot. He got out of the car and there's nothing wrong with him. Don't you hate that? Don't you? So I ran him over. I laid an honest man out of him. Then his mother got off the other side and started swinging her crutches at me. Took her out with the door. Does it feel kind of bad? Aw, oh, hell, they can carpool. <laughs> Walter, I understand your wife's in town? Oh, yeah, she having a good time? She always has a good time. Good, pisses me off. <laughs> Walter, your wife is a lovely woman. She's getting old. Well, you know, they say that women age like fine wine. She's aging like milk. How long have you been married? 46 years. Oh, what about you? 12 years. Huh, you'll see. What, remember when you said, till death do us part? Yeah, later you realize you were actually setting a goal. <laughs> Walter, what exactly is marriage to you? Marriage to me is like drinking a, a frozen drink. Frozen drink. First couple of sips is like, boy, it's really good. I'm glad I did this. And you keep drinking, then you had too much, and all of a sudden, ow, 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 ow. Oh, my head. <laughs> the hell was I thinking? <laughs> Someone kill me, please. <laughs> Getting there, it's kind of like buying a new car. A new car. You know when you see that car in the showroom floor just before you take it home? Yeah, that's as good as it's ever going to look. <laughs> Pretty soon, it'll have dents and scratches. Parts start to wear out. Then the new models come out and you're like, oh, 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 honey, can I just sit in it? <laughs> no, and under. <laughs> <laughs> Walter, how's the sex? You idiot, I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm too old. You're not too old. How would you know? Well, I don't know, but I do know I had grandparents who, well, into their 80s, were still having fun. Their 80s? What the hell kind of sex is that? <laughs> Was it good for you? I don't remember. <laughs> it was three minutes ago. Yeah. Who are you? <laughs> Come on, Walter, seriously, how many times a week do you and your wife make love? Times a week? Good God. I have to use a decimal to answer this one. <laughs> Actually, lately it's been none, none, and I'm pushing for less. <laughs> Well, how was your love life before you got married? Oh, I used to date this exotic woman from India. India, oh sure. Took me home to visit her family. That's a weird ass country over there. What's wrong with India? Nothing, I just don't get it. What, all the women got red dots on their forehead. What the hell is that? You are here. <laughs> the red dot indicates that the woman is married. What? Sure, oh. Well, that's a more efficient system than what we got. What are you talking about? We got rings. So? Well, think about it. You go into a club here. Where's her hand? I can't see the ring. It's under the table. Where's the damn ring? I don't see. Go to a club in India. Dot, dot, no dot, no dot, 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 no dot. <laughs> hey, let's connect them. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Ding, coffee's ready. Stop it. <laughs> You're gonna get me in trouble. I don't care. We're flying out of here in the morning. I'm not looking forward to going to the damn airport. You don't like security. No. Sick and tired of all the security crap. Well, Walter goes through security a little differently than we do. Sure. We walk through the metal detector. Not me. No, he's in my carry-on. You cheap bastard. I'm sorry. I go in the x-ray machine, right? I'm gonna have cancer tonight. You know what my head looks like in an x-ray? I got wires and levers. I'm going through one the other day. The guy stops the belt. He looks at the screen. He turns to Jeff. He goes, sir, looks like you got a bomb in your suitcase. Oh, genius here. He goes, no, sir, it's a head. <laughs> Swear to God, the guy goes, oh, well, have a nice day. 